Welcome to Driven World. Hi, welcome back to Driven World. I hope you liked my previous videos. So the last video was about planting these in these the peas in these trays. Uh, after seedling, the next step is repotting. So you you have to repot them because. If you just put them in the trays until they grow, then there won't be enough room for them in these small trays, which have very small pots. So now you have to put, replant them in these large pots like this. To complete this stage, it took four to five weeks. Stage 1. Soak the seeds overnight and put them in the tissue for sprouting. Once the seeds have sprouted, put the sprouting seeds in the seedling tray. The next thing is in the seedling tray. After 4-5 to five weeks, the seeds will grow like this. You need to put these on a window soil and water them every day. Make sure they maintain in a room temperature. If we follow all the rules, we could see these gorgeous plants. Well, the next step is repotting because if we don't repot them, then there won't be enough space for the plants to grow further. Well, plants need nutrition and you have to mix with compost. Now we need to put them in a mixture of soil and compost. Now I will show you how to repot saplings. These are called saplings. Put the soil and compost in a pot like this and dig a hole in here. This is a hole and you basically have to dig in until it's like this but don't dig in a lot don't dig in too deep only do it like this then the knife scrape around the plants just by here and don't damage the roots like this When you do it, the next thing to do is rem try to remove it gently. And then hug it. And then when, you, when it's like this, Put it into the hole without disturbing the roots. Gently press it and cover cover the seed with the seed here with the soil. Seed still growing. And this is how we need to follow for the remaining plants. When the process is complete, then it'll look like this. Because plants will have a transplant shock. We have to place them in the same place and water them and keep an eye and make sure maintain the temperature as well. Well, now I'd like to tell you when to put these plants in the ground. Before putting it in the ground, we need to do one process and that is called hardening. We'll see hardening process in the next video. See you bye.
Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.